So hello guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we will cover the lab that is build a data warehouse with BigQuery. So first of all click on start lab. Now in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video. Now we will open the cloud console in now in my case it is getting signed in automatically. Sometimes it may ask for username and password. So for that refer to the lab instruction and now click on I understand. Now click on I agree and then agree and continue. Now here I will tell you what error you may face. So first of all click on activate cloud shell. Now cloud shell will activate. Now click on continue. Now here click on authorize. Now wait for the cloud shell to authorize itself and then we will move forward to the main part that is First we need to go to the github repo as you can see the cloud shell session is live. Now in the description box of this video I have shared one github repo so do check it out. So finally here is the repo just enter it select it and on the cloud shell session just enter it. So in this case as you can see I did not get any error. But you may face error so I will tell you how you can fix this error. So wait for these command to execute and once it done we will move forward to the error part. It's done. Now we will move forward to the lab instruction and hit check my progress for all data. So let's hit check my progress for all data. So sometimes you may not get full score. So for that as you have watched earlier in other videos just refresh the browser window so that you will get full score. And if you doesn't get full score I will tell you a way how you can complete this. So wait. As you can see we got full score. Now we will I will tell you how you can fix this error. So sometimes we may get error like project not set you are not logged in. So for that you need to run G cloud you need to log in. So as you can see here is no region anything mentioned. So we have to do it manually. So run G cloud auth login and then hit enter now click on Y. Just type Y and hit enter and click on this link. Similarly click on this username and then click on continue and then click on allow and select this and now paste here. So basically here we are authenticated. Now you may face another error that project ID is not set. So for that copy here like this make sure to copy the extra space before the project ID value. So from here on the lab instruction copy the project ID and hit enter. And that's the way we have to complete this lab in case you face error. So do let 